Hi, I'm Coach Foxy. I'm picking up from our last video when we done our stands. I'm going to teach you so on guard position for our hands and also how to move forward, how to move back, how to move left, right, and how to move to the left. Okay, so again, there we are. We'll just do a quick run over it. All right, so there we are, feet shoulder width apart. Again, take a step forward if you like bend your knees and then just a little step forward again so you can sink into your stance or if you prefer take a step back and do it that way okay it's entirely up to you okay all right so there we are we're in our stance and we've got our hands down obviously we're not protected what we need to do is protect here and here with our arms all right and be able to look through all right so basically what I do when we're in our stance is I just take my arms like that, I lean forward, all right? Then I just let them rest like that, all right? So your hands are pretty much making a V shape. Okay, you see a lot of people boxing with their hands down here and what have you. And, but in all honesty, you'll come up against a boxer, a good fit boxer who boxes like that behind his stance. Bah, 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 bah. And you're going to come into serious trouble. All right. If you're evenly matched. Okay. Yeah. Right. So there we are. And you just let your hands come down until you feel the underside of your triceps. Just touching your chest like that. Okay. There you are. You must be able to see over the top of your glove your rear hand must be protecting your chin at all times and it's cocked it's ready to punch at any time from your on guard position any punch really from an on guard position you can throw absolutely any punch okay so that's our stance and our on guard stance all right our footwork and our base and our on guard stance covered okay so moving forward and moving backwards moving right moving left all right these are the simple movements in boxing all right so from on your in your stance your on guard position ensuring you've got your weight distributed evenly on both legs you've got your bending your knees your rear heel is off the floor again that's very important all right, there's no movability if your heel isn't off the floor. If it's flat footed, then it's very, very hard to do all the little slips and slides that we need to do. Okay, so to move forward, pretty much basically, whichever direction you're moving, all right, it's important that you move that foot first and push off the opposite one. All right, so if you're going to push forward, if we wanted to move forward, obviously we're going to move the front foot first and push off the back foot. So it's, and what you do is you just lift your foot, all right, and push off the back foot. And then there you are. That was maybe just a little bit too far for a beginner. So boom, bang, bang, backwards. Okay, so I'll do forward again. So you've got your weight on your back leg pretty much because you know you're going to go forward and just push forward and front foot first, front foot first and then back foot front foot first and then back foot and same if we go backwards because we want to go backwards obviously it's the back foot that we want to move first so we don't bring our feet together and find ourselves walking backwards and that's pretty much the same going forwards if we don't push off the back foot and move the front foot first if we leave the front foot first and move the back foot for, for, first we bring our feet together and we're off balance. We get caught like that, we're in serious trouble. Okay. So again, forward, push off the back leg, move the front foot first. Push off the back leg, move the front foot first. Okay. Going backwards, push off the front foot, move the back leg first. That's it, just like that. And pretty much going left. Going right's pretty much the same. So we'll go left. Okay. So there we are we're in our stance we've got him against the ropes the only place he's got to go is left or right and we want to keep him there and how we achieve that is by if he steps 
to his right, we step to our left. And again, you've got, again, notice how I've always got my weight on my back leg. Most of my weight, I have probably 60, 40, maybe 70, 30 weight distribution on my back leg because I like to push off my back leg and push forward to try and go, go through my opponents. Okay, so again, there we are. We're in our stance and we've got our weight on our back leg. We have the front foot first and then the back leg. Front foot, back leg. Okay, and a bit quicker, bang, bang. Okay, and to go right, pretty much the same again. All right, this time you want the weight. You want to transfer a bit of your weight onto the front leg. This is why a lot of coaches will tell you to keep it 50 50. All right, when you're a beginner. 50% on the front leg, 50% on the back leg. Okay, and then for to go left, all right, off the left foot, move the back foot first, and then step to the step to your right. Okay, again, just a little, little lean forward, put the weight on the front foot, all right, and then away you go. Okay, so again, lean forward, a little bit of weight on the front foot, okay, move your back foot first, and then bring the front foot with you as well. Okay, so there you go moving forward, moving backwards, moving left, moving right. Um, on the next lesson, we'll start learning our punches. Now that we know those, that's something to keep you busy uh, at home, in front of the mirror, in the gym, wherever, wherever you decide to practice it. Um, okay, so next time we'll practice, I'll start teaching the punches where we would, well first, with every punch, you want to be learning it stationary. So you rally number one, bang, and then you number two, and then you three, and then four, and then five, and then six, okay, and one B, two B, three B, four B, five B, six B, okay, we'll teach that next time, okay, I hope you've enjoyed the lesson, until next time, I'm Coach Foxy, enjoy your training, stick in, keep trying, don't get mad, Angus the enemy.